Well, thank you very much, Tom. The celebration will continue in Columbia, South Carolina, as we come to you from Bryan College Station on a rainy Tuesday night. Continue some SEC basketball for you from Reed Arena, Texas A&M, two and three in the league, Missouri 0 oh and five. Last year, the Aggies took up, took down Missouri both meetings during the regular season. Texas a and is not afraid of the hard parts of the game. They've won a lot of games not shooting straight over the years under Bucks. So Wildens Levesque at the elbow knocking home. That jumper just a second now working on Washington. That one's intercepted by Coleman. Boy, great read by the big fella. Back to Taylor, wide open three. Got it. Really good play by Coleman to put the brakes on. Good job by a and to guard the ball and force East into a tough one. Good cut. Garcia puts it through the cylinder. It's the kind of plays that he makes right there. Just Texas A&M's taking the lead. And watch the scoring cut, the violent cut by Anderson Garcia right down the pipeline. Again, you don't run plays for him. You let him make a play. Really well done by 11 and White. They're waiting on it. He's in place before that plant foot gets sold. And Buzz Williams sees it quickly as well. Good job by Hefner to take the blunt of the blow. And you are out of control as an offensive player in college ball these days if you get called for a charge. Taylor, deep three, got it. Yeah. It was a 1-3-1 one, one alignment, and Wade Taylor just found that gap by an average of 10 per game. Yeah. Taylor fires and rips the net. He is getting hot, now 15 on the board. And five clogging up the paint, trying to get the basketball. Tried to get it to him. Hefner comes away with it. Radford, left hand, oh, the circus shot. Other word to describe it other than ugly right now. Radford, contact, count it. Free throw opportunity on the way. But the Aggies embrace ugly. Air balls, miss layups, <laughs> throwing the thing around the Reed Center. The Aggies do not waver. They get stronger the uglier the game gets. And Boots Radford, lefty, goes to his right. Strong finish through Violet Vanover. Carter got the start again tonight. Move for four from the field. Radford pulls up, buries the jumper. So Boots Radford finally hits from the perimeter. Carter fires, no good. Coleman offensive rebound. Taylor gives it to Carter again. He'll try again. This time it works. Yep. Radford taps it to himself. Bates has to get out of the way with his four fouls. The alley oop. Washington from Radford. Offensive sensitive under Buzz Williams. They are shooting 29% of the game. It does not affect their energy. It doesn't affect their voice. It doesn't affect this time out. Shot clock down to five. Coleman to right at the youngster Butler and wins that battle. Above that three point line and stay attached. Don't come off and over help. What a block. And still got the shot to go up. A whistle stopped. They're going to say a tie up. Garcia got his paw on the basketball. Maybe the play of the night. To change the game with his heart, his will, and his want to. That is the jump ball all up top, perfectly timed by Anderson Garcia. Bates has pretty good lift, and Garcia reads it, knowing that Bates is left handed, comes with his right paw. And just heave it down the court, or Garcia will back it out, and that will do it. Coleman just lets the clock run out. So it was not pretty by any stretch of the imagination. But Buzz Williams will take the victory 63-57.